Welcome to Pod Band Podcast. The premiere. Pipe Band Podcast. Yay! Yay. Merry Christmas. Happy and Christmas. holidays. Happy holidays. Wow, happy happy. It's up, it's up already. Cool. Merry Christmas. <laughs> anyway, uh yeah. Well, welcome to Podband Pipecast Christmas episode. Yay! Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <sighs> Podband Pipecast holiday episode. Welcome. Okay, so Alex is going to go through and, and beep us every time we... Uh, it's like we're swearing yeah. every time we say... Holiday. It's illegal to say it. So. And then uh, just, just dub over your voice saying holiday. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. Yeah. That would be great. Um, yeah, so... It's the holidays. Yes. And you know. Tis, tis the holidays. Tis. Tis indeed. Tis. <laughs> um, best wishes for you for whatever it is that you celebrate or don't celebrate. Um, you know what people like around the holidays? Chinese food. I like those all the time. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. Um, Shuffle the cards. I don't know, like uh they don't like putting chains on their tires and that. That's no fun. I've never lived in a place where that was a requirement. I've always lived in Arizona and yeah, was, same. Was, weird. No. But Only like the part of Arizona yeah. that doesn't need. What do they yeah. do? They have like chains. Oh, that's right. I guess snow plows, yeah. thing, snow trucks that come through and like pave snow plows. Snow plows. They snow come through plow. and like pave the they don't streets pave. or whatever. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We'll make the snow yeah. go to the side. Plow. Plow right. through the Plow. snow. And they, just do that, they just do that every day? Like, what about the highways? And you what know? about the highways? Like, do they have I think they salt the highways? Those. Salt, oh, okay, yeah, that makes more sense. What I was going for was what people like around the holidays is, you know, story time. It's like, twas the night before Christmas. Sorry, holiday. Twas the night before holiday. <laughs> Um, and so what we thought we would do is we would get together here with, you know, us, your hosts and them, your crew and celebrate the holidays. Yes. Yeah. Welcome. Welcome to celebrating (laughs) the holidays with a bedtime story. It's not, I mean, whatever, just grab your hot cocoa or whatever it is you like to drink and pull up a chair and listen to our <laughs> festive story. Yeah. Yeah. Should we explain how the game works or just dive on in? We should, I guess we should explain. Okay, so what we're going to do is tell you a story that's, I guess it's not necessarily a holiday story. I was trying to tie that in somehow. We could make it a holiday story. It's just, it's a holiday story. It's a holiday. It has to have some kind of holiday element. Yes. Okay. Sure. Um, it takes place on the holiday. Yeah. The holiday. The holiday. You know. Holly day. Oh, yeah. Holly jolly day. So, um, there's a game called Once Upon a Time, which is pers- it's one of my favorite games. It's you game. should check it out if you don't know what it is. It's very fun. Um, with certain people, because certain other people are just not good at telling <laughs> stories. And they, you know, mm-hmm. you'll understand. <laughs> you'll understand when you listen to this. Okay, so we have cards here that have uh, words on them relating to piping and drumming and pipe bands and all of that. Yes. And then there's other cards that are the ending cards. So what you have to do basically is each one of us is going to get an ending that is going to be something about pipe band history or mythology, really. It's going to be a fun little story about pipe band mythology. And we're going to start telling a story and we're going to use the cards in our hand to... Um, those are the words that kind of are going to make up the story. And we're each going to try to move the story towards the ending that we have. It'll make more sense. Yeah, maybe we should just, we, we should, we just, should just do in. it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's, just, let's do just do it. Okay. Here's an so, ending. So uh, re- story time. So for the benefit, like, so we don't know what cards we have. We don't know what endings each other have. Um, but for the benefit of the listener, we're going to go through right now and tell you, we're each going to tell you in secret what our ending is. And you're going to see as we start telling the story, we're going to try to move it towards that ending. But only one of us is going to be successful. And the one person who finally plays their ending card is the winner. 
And that's why drummers are always getting into trouble. My ending is, and the monster was slain with the power of pipes and drums. Uh, mine was, and that's why it takes pipers forever to tune. <laughs> <laughs> And mine was, it was then they realized the best prize was being part of a band. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. the cards in our hands have words and our st story needs to keep, needs to have the words in it. So when we tell the story, like once upon a dark and snowy night, I played the night card. So you're going to, you're going to hear a ding whenever we play a card. And that's, that's why we're, that's why there's a ding. Oh, also, we didn't explain how you interrupt people. So, um, let's say Adela's playing or telling the story, and she says that she says a word, and I have that word in my hand, on a card in my hand. I can then interrupt the story and say, "Oh, you just said, you know, child," and then I have the child card. So now I take over the story, and then I start telling the story. There's also certain cards that are interrupts, which are also, you're also going to hear a ding, maybe a different sound. I don't know. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he does. Um, <laughs> we'll see what our editor does. <laughs> so if I play, if, if someone, how do the interrupts work again? It's the, it's when someone plays a specific type of card. So there's yeah, five different one. types of cards in the game. There are place, aspect, character, event thing. Yeah. So there's the different like categories of cards and there's a, like a color on the top corner of the card that shows what type of card it is. And so if you have an interrupt card that is the same type as the card that was just played, you can just place that down and immediately take over the story without that card having to do with what the person is saying at all. Also the words, um, the, the colors correspond to the type. So the yellow, um, I think those okay. Are, yeah, yeah, like yeah. on the um, like a thing. The right. words are colored. I don't have all the things, so I can tell the colors. But yeah. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna start telling the story. Also, if someone like has a contradiction or fumbles too much or whatever, the next person can take over. Yeah. So like, if I were to say there was a young boy, and then later in the story I say and the young girl, but I was talking about the same character, somebody can be like, "Hey, you said it was a boy," and then it's that person's turn. Yeah. So let's have a fun time telling this wonderful story. Now let's dive in. Let's do it. All right. Once upon a time, it was a dark and snowy night around the holidays. Um, there was a child sitting by their bedside, watching the snowfall, being excited about the upcoming holiday. Um, they needed to go to bed. So their mom was like, hey, kid, go to bed. And the kid was like, okay. So they, they took a little nappy poo. And then it's the next day now. It's morning. The snow has fallen. And the child is excited to go outside and play in the snow. So I'm just going to ask what they were going to do. But I guess you said play in the snow. Never mind. They're mm -hmm. going to go play in the snow. They're going to go outside and build a snowman. And uh, while they were building a snowman, a fox came up. And the fox looked at him and they made eye contact and the fox started to run away. So he started chasing the fox. Um, I'm going to interrupt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so he started, um, he started chasing the fox um, and the fox uh, started to slow down a little bit. Um, and that was because he, he saw the, the fox had a, a wound on its leg and it was dying. How to get that wound? Um, well, it, he doesn't know. He, he goes up to the fox and he's like, well, what's up, little guy? What you, uh, what, what's wrong? And um, he starts to talk, actually. This can talk. <laughs> oh. Ooh. So the fox starts to say, well, I, I hurt my leg in, uh, in a fire last night. It got burned. And so I was running away because it was you humans who had made the fire. It was a bunch of tenor drummers uh, from the local piping uh, band of the village, the mm -hmm. village of Nornock. Nornock. Yes, Nornock. Oh, and so if you, you know, I, I, I just saw you and just had to run. And the little boy said, do not fear me because I am just a little boy. 
and I will not harm you, uh, a fox. And the fox is like, thanks, dude. <laughs> As foxes do. <laughs> yes. Um, will you avenge me uh, against these tenor drummers? And the little boy said, I am but a boy, and that is not my lot in life. And so he said, okay, well, I'm going to head down the road then. You have a nice life, kid. <laughs> and the, the boy said, yay. And so it was so. You know, this, this child seems very introspective. Like, is he, like, smart or oh, like, he's exceptionally a, smart He child? is a genius. Is he? <laughs> yeah, he's an absolute genius. Would you say he's genius. wise? Wise? I don't think. I don't think that's the same thing. Sure. Being intellectual. But, but is he not wise? He <sighs> seems pretty wise to me. He could be. He could be wise. But I don't, I don't know if he is at this point in the story. <laughs> okay, we'll continue. I think, I think Alex is trying to interrupt Trying to, trying to it take was, a story. You know, no, trying to I take a story. I'm just wondering if it's just a guess. Wise. <laughs> uh, but the boy found that in his uh, chase of the fox, that he had gone too far from his home and did not know how to get back. Could you say he's long lost now? I would say he's lost. Would you say he's long lost? Yes. Yeah, sure. <laughs> is, is the boy long? <laughs> he is long and lost. <laughs> All right, so this this long lost boy, I, oh, <laughs> sorry, this long lost boy um, doesn't know how to get home now, so he um, climbs up a tree. To, mm, a tree. Oh, oh. wow! <laughs> All right. So he climbs up a tree to to see if he can find his home, um, but instead, uh, his home it's it seems like it's too far away for him to see, but he does see the village of Nornok. Um, which he was told to go to, to, to find those tenor drummers. Drummers? Um, yeah. Oh. oh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so he, um, he gets in the tree and he sees it. He sees the village. And so he climbs up. village name? Norak? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he sees the village. And so he climbs down the tree and starts running that direction. Cause he's a small child and is scared and, and, um, doesn't know where he is, but now he knows where he is. So he's like, yes, I'm running. I'm running to this village now. Um, and then he runs right into a tree oh, and no. falls back onto his butt. Um, and he's like, ouch, that hurt. But it's okay because he gets back up and then he realizes he uh, doesn't know where he's going again. So he climbs back up another tree, but then he falls out of that tree. Um, and- He's not very Why is he so clumsy? <laughs> So he, he falls out of the tree and passes out, and then <laughs> that's <laughs> some trouble. And then a, a, a witch comes up to him what? and is like, "Well, he's in the you know, forest. Which <laughs> witch? You know, witches live in forest." Uh, a witch comes up to him and splashes him with not water because that would melt the witch, but you know, some liquid lemonade. She splashes him. <laughs> she splashes him and with some lemonade to wake him up. And then he's like, it's all sticky, wait. You know? Yeah, it's got <laughs> no water in it. Why couldn't she use water? Because, you know, it's literally just just it's sugar. It's the Wicked Witch of the West. I mean, yeah, specifically. Because water is toxic. That one to specific us. witch. Is that not what I guess, I mean, I guess, No, I guess in the lore of this story we're telling, it's, that's facts now. Well, all right, that was fun. Because it's called like poisonous. Yeah. Okay. No, no, no. So it's toxic. It's okay. Toxic okay. To the, witch. I, okay. <laughs> the water is toxic to the witch, so she splashes him with lemonade because that's what witches do. Um, and the witch was like, uh, "Hey there, little boy. Uh, what are you doing?" And he's like, "I'm trying to run away back to my where's he going? To the village of Nornock." <laughs> Uh, back to my house, and that is where I live. Nope. Right. He does not live in the village of Nornock. What? Yeah, he lives outside of it. Yeah. The tenor drummers are right This has been established um, in the lore. Yes. I just took over the story. <laughs> oh. There you go. It's, Wait. Yeah, it goes, it goes counterclockwise. Uh -oh. Or it goes clockwise if it's like if someone missed a detail or something. Yeah, so. Uh, well, I was chasing a fox. No, they stopped chasing the fox. I had been chasing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. okay. I had been chasing a fox as 
uh, one would remember if they were uh, listening to those events. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I stopped along the way and he told me of the village um, where he had found some tenors that had uh, burned him. So I was making my way there and just Mr. Magooed my way into getting myself <laughs> knocked out off of a tree. Uh, but you know, you know us kids, uh, we're, we're always getting into, into trouble and stuff. And so the witch is like, yeah, I got you. And then she's like, well, here, have this potion that makes you never knock into a tree ever again. <laughs> And so that'll fix Very that. Specific <laughs> Super specific potion. So he's like, thanks. And then he's like, he drinks it. And then she's like, hey, do you want to make our way to Norna together? You know, along this one road, this single road that goes to Norna. And then he's like, yeah, sure. Oh, what, would you say they're going on a journey? Yeah, sure. Okay, they're going on a journey. <laughs> so... The witch, so he says, yeah, sure. And so the witch and the boy uh, go together, which the boy is trying to get back to his house, which is outside the village. But he's also like, I kind of want to go check out, um, you know, that village because I've heard there's some really mean tenor drummers there. And we all know how mean tenor drummers can be. (laughs) (laughs) And so they walk, start walking towards the village together on their journey. Um... And, you know, it's actually very funny. They were walking and suddenly um, from around a bend in the road comes a drum major just, you know, doing yeah. his drum major thing. Just doing his drum major thing mm-hmm. with his drum major mace. And um, so would you say that they meet him? I mean, it, see, the thing you have to understand <laughs> about drum majors <laughs> When they're in their drum major mode and they're marching along, even if there's no music, you know, there's nothing you can do. They're just going to keep going. And so they almost run into him. Um, but then, yes, they do end up meeting him because meeting I don't know where this is going. <laughs> they met the drum major and he turned out to be a drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, hello, uh, drum major. Oh, I'm going to interrupt for the drunk card. Sorry. I sure. Didn't see it. No, 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 fine. Um, so they're like, hello, uh, drum major. And he's like, oh. Well, like, drunk major. What is, what is you, what? <laughs> and they're like, oh, this guy, this guy ain't got nothing. We're going to move on. So that guy just keeps marching. He marches, like, in, just into the forest. <laughs> like, he just keeps going. As drum majors oh, yeah. do. <laughs> so they, uh, they go, and if they're having a whole, um, like, a, a games there. Like, a whole pipe band, um, oh. like Highland Games there, a um, bunch of competitions, athletic competitions and things like that, vendors everywhere. Um, they pass by a bass drummer who's playing his bass. He's pra- practicing his bass. Is um, it loud? Yeah, he's, he's pretty loud. It's loud. Yeah. It's also out of tune. <laughs> would, you say, would you say it's kind of obnoxious? Oh yeah, it's obnoxious. Okay. <laughs> so they're passing by these obnoxious bass drummers and bass vendors. drummer. Wow. Um, one yeah, bass drummer. One they're bass walking drummer. through. There's more bass drummers. How many bass walking. drummers are at this game? <laughs> it's a Highland right, game. Know. Are they all There's loud and out of tune? Five. There's at least five obnoxious bass drummers. You know, oh, all like those out five of tune. Five obnoxious bass drummers. <laughs> <laughs> So they're, 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 yes, they're, they're walking by. There's more bass drummers. There's just one. They're they're all obnoxious. Hold, you know hold, how bass okay. drummers are. Hold on. Okay. We've also established earlier in the story that it's snowing. Yes. So they're well, having it had a, snowed. The, 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 and the, the boy night. went yeah. out to play in the snow, make a snowman. Yeah, right. So they're having a Highland Games in the snow. You know they're yeah. built different. You know it's yeah. Oh okay. It's I just had medieval, to uh, built snow tough. Highland Games. Medieval style. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Yeah. They okay. And I stuff. just had to be sure. Yeah. It is. It is still snowing, so they are walking through, and lo and behold, there's a snowman building contest happening nice. over in the corner. So they pass the shops, 
um, and they go to the snow, and they start building a snowman. And they're like, man, this snowman really needs something. So they go back to the vendor area to kind of explore and, and find out what the snowman is missing. And they, they go up to the shopkeep, and they're like, man, we're trying to build this super cool snowman so we can win the, the snowman contest. And the shop is like, buy my most expensive spore, and, and that will win. Hmm. And they're like, okay. And so he's like, how much is it? And the shopkeep says it's 20 pounds. And... <laughs> What? It's about three fifty. We could need about three fifty. <laughs> it's the longest monster. That's not canon. <laughs> um, and the kids like, oh, I left home in my in to make a snowman at my house. I didn't bring any money, and the shopkeeper's like, get out of my shop. And then he's like, oh, okay. And then also he, inflation, am I right? That his most expensive spore is twenty pounds. <laughs> twenty <laughs> which, Actually. Oh, 28. No, a 20. Oh, yeah. they said 28. Not listening Back to the, the story. Day, right? Sorry, <laughs> I'm having problems listening tonight. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so they, they're leaving. They're like, oh, gosh. Uh, um, Where are they going to go, though? They're going to go back to the snowman contest. And they're going to... But they didn't get anything cool for snowman. They're poor children. They're, they're not children. It's a witch. There's one child. There's one child oh, yeah. and a witch. They establish the age of the witch. Forgot about the witch. The witch is a child, too. Okay. Lemonade okay. drinking child. That's canon now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Makes sense. She was selling lemonade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to the snowman, um, and they wait. Okay, continue. <laughs> <laughs> they go back to their snowman, mm -hmm. and they continue to decorate it. They mm -hmm. walk around a little bit so in the snow. What, what kind of like clothes are they wearing? Like pajamas. Pajamas. Yes. Even the witch is wearing pajamas. No, the witch is wearing like it's like. Normal clothes. This is witches are normal, so <laughs> yeah. So they just but practice, practice a little bit. We did establish earlier that water is toxic to witches, and snow is just water. So snow how is she? Water. Oh, so the freezing <laughs> makes it's a not, difference. It's not the same. <laughs> you, you don't understand. So you touch the you don't snow understand and it melts on to It's natural. Her water. hand. Her they hand. don't drink natural water in this <laughs> yeah. lore. Okay, but. Wait, what? <laughs> you gotta just... water from the sky does not melt the witch. All water's from the sky. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. You're thinking too much. It would about be it. like it'd be like if there was like a well and there was like a bucket in the wood, like mm -hmm. they've got like a bucket because that's what happens in Wizard of Oz, right? Yeah. I think there's like a Yes. The, yeah. But their drink drinking water is cursed for witches. Oh, what do they drink instead? Lemonade. Okay. Oh, lemonade. That's right. Okay. Well, lemonade is the witch's favorite drink. Well, there, there we go. We've established that it's only drinking water drinking that is water. cursed. Yes, yeah, only drinking water is and cursed. toxic for witches. <laughs> not snow. Sky water is not toxic. All yeah. right. So that's a thing you know now. Yes. Sure. You know when you're listening. Once to it goes through the purification process, it becomes toxic. And <laughs> And, uh, it's, you know, it's that reverse osmosis that really <laughs> gets them. <laughs> also, we got to She only has two cards left. I only have two cards, but I'm nowhere close to my ending. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they are back in their snowman area, looking around for fun things to put on their snowman. They find some twigs. They steal a carrot from one of the vendors. Um, no one knows. It's just a little, <laughs> little carrot. It's a little baby carrot. So, mm. so they don't mind it missing. And they, they make a snowman. And the snowman, it, it honestly, it looks like shit. <laughs> <laughs> and they lose. But they're children, so they're like, they were happy with it. So they, they go, they continue to explore some more. Um, and they find a pipe band. And the pipe band has uh, bagpipes. Hey, bagpipes. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. There's bagpipes. And this pipe band has bagpipes. And then, <clears throat> at that point, not only are there bagpipes, but... The boy remembers, hey, like, that's right. I was going to be looking for the tenor drummers of this pipe band. And so they actually see that there are tenor drummers from the local pipe band there. And they're... they're and where is that local pipe band from? Nornock. The Nornock <laughs> Village Pipe Band. Um, and the Nornock Village Pipe Band tenor drummers look uh, mighty spooky. And he thinks, yeah, that must be, they must be the tenor drummers that were bullying that poor fox there. 
So uh, he tells the witch, I mean, he'd already told the witch, but he reminds the witch, like, hey, those are the tenor drummers that were bullying that fox, and I'm not okay with that. And they burned that poor fox, so we got to go avenge my fox friend. And so they they uh, try to go up to the tenor drummers, but right then the, the, the band kind of disperses, and everyone heads over to the beer tent. And now this is a problem because children are not really allowed in the beer tent. <laughs> And so... What do they serve at the beer tent? Beer? Probably other alcoholic beverages. Such as? Oh, I know what it's like. Scotch? Scotch! (laughs) (laughs) Scotch. Here you go. Um, Just outside the the beer tent, there is a man uh, just wanting to get just a little bit more. Just another lick of whiskey. He is the beggar. And he is also uh, uh, in trouble. And so when the children get to him, of course, they can't go into the tent. But he can if he has just a little bit more money. Mm-hmm. So the children decide to uh, put on a show <laughs> and uh, start doing, well, the witch starts doing some magic. Some little... Like what? I don't know, like uh, making like little fireworks like that aren't actually there. Mm-hmm. And the boy starts doing uh, some Highland dancing because he <laughs> knows how to do it. And they're like, dang, that's some fine work, kid. And they put out uh, like a, like a, the witch's hat. Mm-hmm. Now, she's wearing normal clothes, but she also has a witch's hat because like you always have to yeah, have you it. Gotta have one. You, know, yeah, you never know. Have to. Never know. So she puts it out. And people throw in some coins. Wait, and wait. So, like, what kind of people are there? Like, just random fans of the Highland Games? villagers. <laughs> yeah, but like, would you call them fans? Like, I mean, who's really a fan? <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, the villagers from Nornan, who are here to enjoy the Highland Games. So that sounds like a fan. It sounds like a fan. If to they're me. here to enjoy. Well, you know, I have higher standards of what a fan is called, but yeah, sure, it's a fan. <laughs> okay, so... The villagers, the fans, start gathering around and start putting money in the, the witch's hat. And so the uh, the beggar sees this, and he's like, oh, these kids are making money. And then he's like, hey, hey, kids... Uh, when they stop their little show, he's like, "Hey kids, I, I heard saw you like trying to sneak into the beer tent. You need some help. I can uh, I can maybe help you out uh, if you give me some of that money." And the kids are like, "Okay, yeah." I mean, secretly that was their plan all along, but they didn't want him to know that. <laughs> so they go to take you know a single a single pound coin out of their witch's hat. Um, but what happens is the beggar does not want a single pound coin. He wants all. Of the money because that's a lot of that's a lot of beer and scotch, you know. So he grabs the hat and he starts to run away with it into the beer tent where they can't follow. Well, um, the witch, in this moment, uh, just kind of panics and because she's still a child, she doesn't really have control of her magical abilities. And she's like, "Oh, let me just you know cast a spell on him to uh, make his shoes fall off." <laughs> You know, so he, um, that'll stop him. <laughs> so uh, she casts a spell on him to make his shoes fall off, but she's kind of not very good at magic yet because she's so young. And it actually um, makes him turn into a giant. Oh. And so now there's this giant beggar who's just the size of a tower <laughs> in front of the beer tent, and everyone starts panicking. Um, you know, some of the villagers go, the fans, if you will, <laughs> go and grab like whatever they can find, like pitchforks, you know, an axe. And they're like going to try to fight this beggar man who, you know, the beggar guy is like totally cool because he realizes he's this big. He doesn't have to pay for his beer. He just grabs it. Right. How is he going to get in the beer tent though? Is, he know? just is going to grab the tent off it's and like, throw it away. And stuff. Yeah, I mean... Okay, so it breaks. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice. So yeah, he t- takes the... Oh, I'll interrupt that. Oh, okay. <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so he just rips off the top of the, the beer tent. And already, everyone is going crazy. I'll All... interrupt that. Sure. 
<laughs> they're going they're going so crazy they're running all over the place the witch is also like she's panicking she doesn't know what to do she's running around casting spells everywhere one of the drums comes to life <laughs> she's like, she's like oh, no. <laughs> um and it's, it's it's all it's all wild but ju- just in the just in the nick of time the that uh, drum major from earlier comes back around. Oh no way! And he, yeah, and he's he's sobered up, and he he puts a stop to everything. He he tells everyone he, he tells everyone to quit it, and he yells really loud with that? his booming uh, it's purple. purple with his booming drum major voice, and even the beggar stops um, to listen to him, and he's like, "Listen, everyone, you're all you're all going crazy. I know this guy's giant. Just let it, just let him." go like we don't want to cause a panic here for the folks of, of Nornok. <laughs> let him destroy the beer tent is that what you're saying? Let him take, yeah let him take his beer and go. <clears throat> so he takes his beer and, and leaves. And everything sort of you know continues as normal um, except there's a lot of broken stuff and one of the drums is alive. <laughs> um, but they now that the beer tent is destroyed the people there can't really enjoy the beer. Are there any so, guards around? Uh, no, not really. It's just like a small village. Oh. Doesn't have like a king, a castle or anything. So there aren't... no security guards. No. Oh. But um, the tenor drummers finally come out of that the, the beer tent area, and um, the children are able to. Uh, what's the word? Talk to them. Yeah, approach them. What, what am I thinking of? Confront. Confront them. them. They say, "Hey, I met." I met a fox earlier, and it said that you burned it. And they're like, "Yep." Yeah. So, yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. And they're like, hey, that was rude. And he's like, well, we were practicing and playing our stuff, and that fox was getting in the way. It was hopping around, uh, doing a little dance, and we couldn't, we couldn't do, deal with that. It was just partying, right? Yeah, just, it, was just, it was just partying. Oh, yeah, okay. It was just partying. It was just partying, <laughs> listening to the, uh, you know the the band practicing and it was having a good time and uh that's not how the tenor drummers saw it they thought he was uh in the way so they're like yeah what we did is uh we were practicing on a farm because this is a village (laughs) and so we did is we uh lit a torch on fire and like you know they have farms all the time and we threw it at the fox and for this for this fire did they, they crafted a fire? I, I mean, created a fire. Yeah. Crafted. Oh, okay. Crafting. I'll. That's a bit of a stretch, but I'll give it to you. Oh, yeah. Just give it to me. <laughs> oh, don't give it to him. That's his last card. Was that his last card? That's fine. Yes. You already gave it to him. Yeah. Crafting. <laughs> so. Yeah, they they threw the fire at, at the fox and it burned them, and. Uh, they were, they were so upset because it was the holiday season, but they were having to, to be here at this Highland Games when they should be home with their families celebrating the season. <laughs> <laughs> the Yuletide, if you will. <laughs> having Making fires in their own fireplace. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. And they had been very upset, but now they see the error of their ways. They were quite drunk at the time. And they were drunk at practice? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I mean, drink whenever you can. Yeah. Right? I mean, there was that drum major who got drunk <laughs> and, wandered, and into the wandered into the forest. He was at the Highland Games, though. It makes sense to get drunk at the Highland Games. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so they were like, yeah. Um, yeah, so sorry. You know, it's kind of crazy because... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, we drink too much the the snares drink too much the bass they drink way more than we do and uh the drum major he's the king of, of swing if you know what i'm saying with, with all the alcohol that he drinks uh uh we should really quit because that's why drummers are always getting into trouble because of the right. drinking yes okay. and that's the moral go. of the story yeah, it's don't drink drinking? so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they burn a fox. <laughs> you burn a fox, and you and then won't. Someone, some witch will come after you and turn a man giant to attack you. Yeah, yeah. You know, you know how it goes. Yeah, that's how it be sometimes. Yep. 
That feels anticlimactic. So yeah. Why? <laughs> it feels like a good, a good moral. It's got a good moral. I guess. Don't drink so much. Crazy people. That was nice. Yeah. We learned a little bit about uh, pipes and drums. We. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I tied it into the holidays. Yeah. In the beginning, you know, we had the snowman. Mm-hmm. At the end, we had the Yule tide. The Yule tide. <laughs> <laughs> the holiday. I feel like it would not be fun to have a Highland Games in the snow. No. Yeah, no. Not. I would not like that. Snow. I, I kind of don't blame them all for drinking so much. Got to keep them warm. Yeah. 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 Keep warm. yeah. Burning foxes to keep warm, you know? <laughs> I was going to try to say, oh, well, the giant came back and everything. <laughs> I don't know. Do you guys from the, uh, in band remember those little, um, like, greasers, the valve greasers? Yeah. So my band director used to be a director in uh, like the Philly area, mm-hmm. in like Pennsylvania, and <laughs> he was noticing that like in one of the football games, the kids uh, weren't really that cold, but they were drinking their bow oil. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> it turned out that they put alcohol in those little containers and were <laughs> drinking from it. Oh no! Yeah, nice. fun little story. One that I remember. <laughs> That's right. How do we how do we wrap up the episode? What's uh, <clears throat> um, seasons greetings? Seasons holiday greetings. You know. Festival of Saturn greetings. It's the end. Seasons uh, endings. Farewell. Seasons. Oh. seasons farewell. Farewell. Is this is this after? Yeah. When is, when is this? This is the end. This is the end of the episode. Where oh. have you been? Oh, okay. I didn't see what you're saying. <laughs> We're saying goodbye. Sean just won. Yes. With kind of an anticlimactic yet I thought it moral it ending. Up pretty nicely. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, it taught us something. The child had nothing to do with it, really. But I mean, whatever. <laughs> I did as good as Game of Thrones. I guess did. it was his. <laughs> it was him who showed the tenor drummers the error of their ways yes and they 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 touched the little boy <laughs> they were like you know what you're right kid that's why we're always getting into trouble we're drinking way too much moral of the story mm-hmm. don't talk so, to children that's the moral of the story yeah don't have a highland games in the winter mm-hmm. yeah, don't that's a, good, that's a good one don't lose your drum major did it do anything? I don't know. <laughs> I How? mean, he was able to quell a whole, whole giant, giant, right? That's yeah, true. Instantly. That's true. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, if you're interested in this game, I mean, Once Upon a Time is a real game. You can actually get it. It's very much fun. It's more fantastical, it's, though. Yeah. It's more but, fantasy. Yeah, I mean, this was like pretty fantasy. Yeah. yeah. Sure. It's had a witch. Yeah. But, you know. If you're interested in it, go get the game or, you know, we might uh, release this at a later date for our patrons on Patreon, which, by the way, I haven't I haven't uh, talked about this episode. Oh, yeah. Um, and then the the witch, the, the tenor drummers learned the error of the way their ways and they went home sober and hopped on their fantasy computers and subscribed to Podband Pipecast uh, Patreon dot com slash Podband Pipecast for Five pounds a month plus tax. That's not true. It's <laughs> yeah, probably cheaper than that, yeah. It's cheaper. It'd be like four it's pounds. Four or five. Five dollars US dollars. I was trying to tie it to the story, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Uncle Sam money. Yeah. Uh, USD. Yeah. Five plus tax. Plus, plus tax. tax. Applicable taxes wherever you may live. Um, Pound is weight here. Per mm-hmm. month. And you get to see all of Alex's editing, which, by the way, he, he's going to add some kind of fun, like, holiday stuff to this. We're going to have hats on each one of us throughout the whole video. <laughs> oh, um, oh, man. He's going to switch the cups every so often. Uh-huh. Just a slow well, gradient kind of switch. <laughs> Subscribe to us. Keep listening. Hope you have a happy holiday, whatever you celebrate. Happy, happy days. Happy days ahead. Happy days to you. We'll see you guys next week for New Year's episode. Yes. Do? Did I say that? Right? Like what for you said. New it was Year's? It's like a Mountain Dew themed New Year's. <laughs> That's a good idea. New Year's. <laughs>
All right, now, now it's copyright. Copyright. Deal. Can't take, can't take it from me, PepsiCo. It's mine. You got to pay me for it if you want it. Mm-hmm. Let's uh, buy the domain name name yeah. right now. Do years. <laughs> do years. All right. Happy uh, do years. Happy. Oh, well, it's not do years yet. So happy, happy days. Happy days. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I cut. No, I was. Oh. Now they're, cut? St- they're still there. Why are they still Go there? Away. Are they still there? <laughs> How long do I have to wait for? Goodbye. Please leave. Okay. I think we're good now. I think they're gone. Okay. Thanks for listening, everyone. If you enjoyed this show, then support us on Patreon for exclusive content, as well as the video of us recording this. We'll have special exercises we'll be writing, as well as tips and tricks with tenor drumming and other instruments to come. Um, Subscribe to us on YouTube for some tenor tutorials and possibly other tutorials later on. Um, and like us on Facebook at Podband Podcast.